Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development and experimentation. Today's project is inspired by the Final Fantasy VII Remake. In the remake, there's a new feature called Tactical Mode that drastically slows down time during battle, allowing the player to select abilities and spells strategically. I think this effect looks really nice, so I thought it would be a good idea to try and develop a similar mechanic using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Create a simple battle system to use as a base for the tactical mode. Build the mechanics present in the mode such as the slow motion effect and the multi-target select. And add some final effects and post-processing. Like in all my recent projects, I've started by importing Jamo, the official 3D character of the channel. Jamo's package already includes a simple movement script with a third person camera for prototyping. Then, I downloaded a model of the Buster Sword on Sketchfab and attached it to the character's hand. Now to start implementing the base battle system, I downloaded some sword slash animations in Mixamo. Using Unity's animator, I created two separate states with the same animation, allowing me to activate different parts of the motion depending on the player's input. Then I added a collider to the sword and only made it active in specific frames of the slash animation. Once I had the collider in place, I added some enemies in the scene that had a simple reaction animation to the sword hit. And just like in the game, I made it so that every time the player hits an enemy, the ADB value increased a little bit. Filling the ADB gauge consequently fills up an integer that allows the player to use the tactical mode. When implementing the tactical mode, the first thing I modified was the timescale of the scene, making everything move in slow motion. And to find the nearest targets during this mode, I simply used a sphere collider around the player to detect and store the enemy's positions. Then I implemented a second camera that aims at any target so that the player can visually choose where they want to use an ability. Speaking of which, the next step was to build one ability. So I chose this rotating sword animation to create a spin attack. In this ability, I implemented some logic to make the character look at the target and then dash towards its position with a little bit of an offset. With all of this in place, I figured it was time to make everything look more polished. So I decided to add some particles using Unity's visual effect graph. Since this feature simulates particles using the GPU, it allows for much more complex systems. I started by creating a visual effect graph for the sparks that are created when the sword hits a target. Then I worked on an effect for the spin attack, which was composed by an initial converging burst and then a particle trail. And since I was working with visual effects anyways, I decided to create an extra effect for a healing spell. And to enhance these effects, I also added light emissions to accompany each of these particle systems. I started adding some UI inspired in the game. These layouts were updated based on every event in the main script. And finally, I added some post-processing to the scene. I first did a bit of general color correction and then added specific post-processing volume for when the tactical mode is activated, which desaturates the game's colors. And after a bit of adjustments, this is how it turned out. To check out and download this prototype, there's a link for the project's repository on the description of this video. Mix and Jam is really only possible because of everyone helping out on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and sharing this video with friends. Thank you so much for watching.